which blockchain projects have the most developers and developer activity. We can see that here at this website, developerreport.com. Uh, I am not affiliated or sponsored by this website whatsoever. In fact, I've done very little digging into the methodologies of how they actually count developers and developer activity, but I still find it very interesting nonetheless. Uh, interestingly, in the entire space, we've seen, not surprisingly, a pullback in both part-time developers and full-time developers. Again, I don't know how they classify a part-time versus full-time and where they're getting their data from. But this data is as of about a month ago, December 15th. So I don't know if they update this quarterly or monthly or what, uh, but it's been an interesting resource uh, and very revealing. So if we go down here to the top ecosystems, monthly active developers, we list ecosystems with the most full-time developers out of the top 200 ecosystems by network value. So it doesn't really tell us much about their methodologies. However, if we sort for full-time developers as of December 15th, 15th, we see that Ethereum is in the lead with nearly 2,000. Now, if there's nearly 2,000 people, uh, more than double the, the amount of devs on the next, uh, the, the next highest, that's a reason to be bullish on Ethereum and the Ethereum ecosystem. Now, I don't know if this counts layer twos as part of, uh, as part of Ethereum. You know, we see Polygon down here with 253. Again, I'm not familiar with their methodologies, but as an ecosystem as a whole, uh, Ethereum seems to be in the lead uh, in, in both full-time developers and total developers. If we include the part-timers, uh, we're over 5,700 total devs on ETH. So that's uh, confirmation for me, uh, for my bias towards being uh, bullish on ETH. Now, interestingly, I did not expect this. Now, I had heard this stat before that Polkadot had a ton of developers and developer activity. But interestingly, they have 752, uh, which is more than Cosmos. Cosmos surprised me a lot here as well. Cosmos with a ton of developers. Again, I don't know if there's bias towards these layer ones and layer zeros having more developers because maybe they're counting all the individual projects that are building on Cosmos, on Polkadot, uh, and on Ethereum, which are obviously very vast, large ecosystems. But then one that really stuck out to me that I, I knew, again, I knew there was a lot of developer activity on Solana, but I wasn't sure where it actually stacked up. In terms of total developers, if we include the part-timers over here, Solana is number two to Ethereum. Now, Ethereum has almost three times the amount of Solana, uh, but Solana actually has more devs than Dot, Cosmos, and, and Polygon. Polygon uh, really coming in strong for a layer two here. And there's, you know, we could debate whether or not they're actually a layer two, but we'll call them a layer two, uh, 1100. Uh, and all of these projects have more active developers than Bitcoin, which is also very interesting. Another one that surprised me, Near Protocol, 781 total developers. That is a lot for an ecosystem and for a layer one that is um, behind a lot of, in, in market cap behind a lot of these other projects. Uh, Cardano always, you know, touted for having a lot of uh, development activity in monthly active developers. 460 total devs, 163 full-time devs. Internet computer, Starknet. This is definitely one to watch and one that we're actually seeing high growth in as it's relatively new. There's no token yet, uh, but there's speculation that there could potentially be an airdrop. So this is going to be a very interesting ecosystem to see come alive. Now, one that surprised me as far as being ranked lower and having uh, fewer devs than I would have expected was Avalanche. Uh, now, whether or not that's a good or a bad thing is yet to be determined. It's not like they're, it's not like they're slacking over there. Um, 95 full-time developers and 332 uh, total devs is pretty solid, but we did see a little bit of a pullback year over year, which is a little bit concerning. We also saw a pullback in BNB uh, and basically, uh, you know, the tiny pullback in Bitcoin. Um, otherwise, we're seeing some some surges happen in various coins. Now, Aptos is new, so these uh, the, this Aptos and Sui are both very new. So those numbers, those increases, are obviously going to be from very low numbers. Uh, Arbitrum coming in pretty pretty solid. Uh, otherwise, there's some down here that have surprisingly low numbers of of developers. But I find this to be an interesting resource. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments below, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.